All right, oh, we're seeing well. the uh, <laughs> the classic triple hunter. It is the EU region. We do have three of them in for this uh, for this map. Out of pretty much everybody, actually, in the time trials, ran this composition. Sanguine is kind of the operative affix we got going on in here this week. So Sanguine, Sanguine Motherload, all about the Peacekeeper management. And these two teams have some slightly different strategies that we've seen so far in this dungeon. Method EU in particular has done a lot of different stuff in here. <laughs> right now, they're, it looks oh, like it's going to be this okay. big meld into a bunch of Peacekeepers at the start from Method EU. Yeah, exactly. I was wondering what Nao was doing because he was holding his meld for an awful long time while the rest of his group ran off to the right-hand side. But yeah, uh, they're doing that... Uh, paint for Fem style strategy where they're activating all the peacekeepers dropping combat with everything to make sure they don't proxy pull stuff and then just getting those peacekeepers uh, it, it's pretty efficient count and uh, we've seen teams pull it even into coin operated crowd pummeler like you probably are going to look to see method you do here momentarily perplex is playing something of more of a, a standard route where they're just kiting it's a really big pull but uh, they're just kiting like a triple peacekeeper and like a couple assassins around yeah, this is much more of what you'd normally see in, in a motherload, like on a, a live key setting. Uh, they didn't use their bloodlust though, so both teams actually we've got a bloodlust from Method of You going into the boss, whereas Perplex saved their lust here, presumably for this pull, as this pull is slightly slightly bigger than that first one that they did. Oh, looks like uh, look at a shine and swag. Uh, they both end up popping their turtle right there. Uh, actually, all three hunters on the side of Perplex end up popping their turtle to make sure that they are able to bait those. Uh, if they get hit by any of the charges, they don't end up immediately perishing. Yeah, that's uh, what you re you really do want to avoid immediately perishing as much as possible here. Those charges now going out though. Oh, and poor Zamak gets the uh, pops of the dampen harm immediately coming out of the stun. You can oh get kind goodness. of wombo comboed here where you'll you'll use your uh, you'll get hit by the stun and then volcanic or uh, a concussion grenade will come and kill you before you have control of your character again. So uh, those adult thugs, very important priority targets here. You'll see they're focusing them down. They're doing a good job here. Now they just have to make sure that they avoid Sanguine healing up any of the Peacekeepers on the side of Perplexed. Meanwhile, Method EU still doing this massive pull. Look at how much they are just focusing on boss damage. All of these Peacekeepers still alive. The boss might be the first. Isalia is so low. Oh my goodness, that dot is ticking on him. But he is going to be okay. But now it's also getting low. Oh, Zalia's starting to run out of mana, dude. Yeah, Zalia is... Uh, he's, he's not got very much left here in the tank. They do need to make sure that they get this boss taken care of as soon as possible. So a lot of defensive starting to die off, though. Yeah, Avatar available for now as well. That is a powerful offensive and defensive cooldown for those Prot Warriors. Yeah, so a strategy that we see a lot in Sanguine Motherload is like you're off DPS. Uh, we'll end up using Taunt to be able to move mobs outside of Sanguine. But whenever your only Taunt available is on your Mistweaver Monk, that's going to uh, happen with significantly less frequency. So Pet Taunt there comes out, though. You see oh, the, keeping one of those uh, Peacekeepers right on far away. Yeah. Pet Taunt, a little bit, a little bit sketchier, but... Uh, <laughs> yes. It, it did do some good work for them. And now, Method, you, look at how many Peacekeepers they have in, involved here. Is this? I think this might be more than we've seen out of Paint for I think this is eight total Peacekeepers, maybe nine, counting the two that have already died. Yeah. Uh, but, but an important distinction that you need to make whenever you see a bunch of these Peacekeepers. So a lot of the time, you'll get the count from the Mech Jockey. Uh, whenever it's inside of the Peacekeeper, uh, just because of how they function. But whenever they meld off of, and drop combat with all of the uh, additional trash, they also lose the plus four count that would be present from those mech jockeys. Method U very cleanly ends up killing off uh, coin operated crowd pummel and all of those Peacekeepers. Maris here is popping his turtle, allowing some of those throw rocks and those earth shocks to hit him while the mobs are being grouped up. Perplex has pulled coin operated crowd pummeler. They have a trash advantage though. Yeah, so speaking about these two teams, this was, of course, a time trial map. And Perplexed had the faster time trial time in here by a solid 20 seconds. So uh, they might, you know, th this is a, probably a pretty a pretty fortunate map pool for them to include that time trial rather than, say, oh a tall desire. And look at this uh, trash coming in here. Oh, no. That's scary trash. No, no, no. That's intentionally pulled. I know, but on the side of Method E, we had a we had a now go down. Oh, now went down on the side of Method E. I was looking, I was busy focusing on perplexed. Where yeah, they me too. These mine rats and earth earth shapers into this boss. Uh, this is pretty scary for Divine. That peacekeeper ends up going down. Now they're killing off coin operated crowd pummeler. Probably going to bolster kill these mobs uh, right on time with one another to not heal coin operated crowd pummeler up any. Method E skipping towards the boss here. Meld skip is successful after not quite working for a couple seconds there. They're going into this boss here with 46% count. Perplexed 
A little bit ahead on count, especially because they still have this big trash pool here. And so Perplex did some of this into boss. We see them CC these two mine rats, and they're going to pull a gigantic pull in this section. This is something that we've only seen Perplexed do so far, but they are pulling huge amounts of trash here, and then they will be following it up with a meld skip that avoids them being in combat with those drillers that are difficult mobs that don't give any count uh, after disgusting. the extractors die. Yeah, double, double extractor here. Uh, this is a lot of damage going into Divine because of how many of those Earth Shapers they end up having. The Earth Shapers, of course, do an invisible cast that is uh, the Earth Shock ability. Yep. And that, that does a substantial amount of damage. Everything's starting to drop low here for Perplex. So we're going to watch their ability to be able to kite out everything. They cancel those final blasts with the Ring of Peace to make sure that all the mobs... Oh, uh, look at those two full health heaven. mobs casting their final blast there. Perfect from Perplex. Oh. The extractors are last to die and out oh. are those drillers. And they are now... They've had enough here. They're not going to bother with those drillers. Yeah, piecing on out uh, as Perplex is sitting at a nice 79% trash count. Method U, on the other hand, is sitting at 46%, but they are about 75% uh, ahead of uh, Perplex in terms of just as a rock oh. raw boss HP. Wolf Perplex has an issue on skip their skip here. That is going to be a 15 second penalty here. Almost the entire difference between these two teams' time trial times. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty rough. Okay, so now look at Perplex racials on their uh, hunters. So all three hunters are running that dwarf racial, which is going to allow them to stack up in melee here and take a few melees of the Earth Rager, getting those bleeds on them. Then they will be able to cleanse those bleeds off with that dwarf racial if they do end up getting any. Divine actually has five stacks of that bleed right now. Yeah, sometimes those things will, will hit your tank under various circumstances. Divine not fixated, but is getting meleeed. I think because they are rooted and their actual melee target is out of range. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now Method EU has down to Azeroth. Uh, they're making their way through the R&D wing, uh, performing a meld skip. They're 46% trash count here, so I think the likely... Uh, the likely I think we're going to see a kite. The, yeah, yeah, I think we're going to see a kite. That's what I was about to say. Because so w w the reason for that, right, is because 46% means they're getting all the trash in the VMZ. Oh my god. What is happening here on my MDI? Method EU has pulled two war machines into Rix of Flex Flame. That is one more war machine than we've seen before, I believe. Yeah, so putting on my monocle, that is very dangerous for the tank. Uh, and the reason for that being is because Rixa has magic damage melees, and then both of those war machines have a charge shot ability. So all three of those things are pre pretty substantial tank damage. So uh, Now's ability to be able to survive this is paramount to this pull's success. And there's also uh, Sanguine to be dealt with. You saw that Ring of Peace come out for Zelia to be able to deal with some of that, knocking one of those mobs out of melee. Those War Machines and Rixa herself cannot be knocked by uh, any CC, so you have to have perfect hiding on all three of those whenever they do start getting low here momentarily. Perplexed. About to down Azerok here. They are still ahead on trash count, but yeah, half a boss fight here behind in tyrannical, a tyrannical boss fight as well. I think that these teams are basically even right now in terms of time. I, th I think that they are on pace for a neck-and-neck -neck photo finish at the end of this run. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so that 58% that trash count, it takes a long time to be able to deal with the trash that is in that VMZ wing. Yeah, it's uh, two pulls, I think, ahead of Method of You in there. They, unless they found a way to do it all in one. Uh, okay. There are two War Machines up there that, yeah. and, like, a bunch of Sky Scorchers. The Sky Scorchers... Really problematic mobs I, to pull too many of. I don't think you. I don't think you could do it in one pull just because of the sheer amount of sky scorchers that you'd have to deal with, right? Perplex now into Rixa Flex Flame. They 80 are eighty. Yeah, eighty percent of Rixa Flex Flame's health behind, but one, one and a half, maybe two trash pulls ahead. Perplexed, not pulling the uh, War Machine pull in at the start of the boss fight. We'll see if they choose to do it later towards the end of the boss fight, as they do still need a little bit of count themselves, just not the entire wing. Yeah, so uh, I, I think it's assumed at this point that Perplex is going to be playing their obelisks, so they probably need to get it to the 92 uh, to 94 percent range on enemy forces count. So they, they either have one very large pull into Rixa, or one very large pull Method after Rixa EU left. is pulling the entire VMZ. Oh my god. Okay, except for the final pack right in front of the boss. They're pulling everything else all together. Out come the bloods of the enemy. Huge See, damage uh, coming out from those hunters. This is a massive amount of count to get all at once. Beautiful ring of peace from Zelia, preventing Sanguine from healing everything up. Yeah, you saw Zelia immediately popping damp and harm as soon as that pack got pulled too. Oh, Gigi, oh, goes, Gigi down. goes down. Okay, that so was rough. He, he got hit by two of those mines. 
And they uh, leave a nasty physical bleed that is pretty tough to handle when a lot of other damage is coming out. Those Sky Scorchers are now jumping around, using those Azerite Heart Seekers. They need to make sure that they soak these with the uh, now, ideally. Otherwise, it does pretty serious damage, as you can see the frag. Yeah, uh, Gigi still did have his turtle available to him, but he was... I don't know what he would be... Uh, well, at that point, you're, you've are you got this bleed on you. Turtle is not going to make you immune to oh, that. Oh, and, and he's going to be... Uh, well, I mean, he could turtle the initial hit, but, like, uh, and, yes. and he's going to need the turtle for this boss. There's no way that he's actually able to use it here. All right, we are now going to potentially see a chain pull from Method of You into that last war machine. Yep, there it is. They are doing the rest of the VMZ now. Meanwhile, Perplexed is doing one big pull, and they will be ready to go to the last Look boss. Even in count right here. Yep, they, the two teams even up, but the, the difference is that Perplex is planning to fight the Awakened enemies, whereas Method of You is planning to kite them. Zamok taking huge damage there. Has a dot from that artillery barrage. Are artillery they barrage. kiting them? Method of You? Are they going to get 100% from this pull? Oh yeah, Look, there's a War Machine in here and like 70 uh, a goblins. War, a War Machine is really efficient, yeah, yeah, yeah. War Machine's 12 count. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty efficient. Perplex here, uh, sitting at a nice 96%. They're making their way up towards Mogul Raz Dunk, electing to not kite. Uh, okay, you might be right. <laughs> this, might, this might not be 100% for Method of You. I think it will be, but it, it might be close. It's good. Uh, no, no, no. They have the War Machine left alive. I, I think you're right. Uh, and they have two mobs still. The Double Sky Scorchers are five count per. Oh, Jinji goes down again on the side of Method of oh, You. Meanwhile, a... Perplexed, getting ready to pull the boss here. And you're right, yeah, 95%, 96 97 for Method of You, so that is not 100. Okay, so they might go. be planning to do Awakened Enemies here. 96% on the side of Perplex. Perplex fighting those Awakened Enemies here with the boss, pulling the boss first. Let's see what's happening here. Zalia pops Dampen, so I believe that means that they are going to kite. Where are they going to get this last count from? I wonder... So yeah, Zalia transcends out. All four Awakened Enemies going away. I wonder if Zalia is going to... I wonder though. if Zalia is going to kill mines while kiting. And just collect the last count as part of his <laughs> kiting route. That would be incredible to see, but it is it's a possibility. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Perplexed. Yeah, so Perplexed, you can see already that Mogul Razdunk is uh, is even now for the two teams. Despite the fact that Perplexed killed it for... Oh, Zamak goes down! And a Shrine goes down on the side of Perplexed. They have two battle reses here, but they need to be able to survive to actually cast them here. Divine is taking huge damage well, from all of these enemies. The Blood of the Corruptor is still alive, too. Uh, creating... Uh, pollution on the ground, which makes it really hard to be able to get anybody up. Zamok actually ends up getting res. A shine still down. Method of you here. Uh, Zalia is just kiting the mob around. Mogul Razdunk is down to sixty percent, but that's a death equalizer. Uh, that is tragic for Plex. Uh, Zamok goes down again. Oh no, man! This yeah, is this going is going to be a boss end. reset from Perplexed, but it's not going to be the end necessarily because it still matters whether or not Method EU are able to kill here. And I don't see a <laughs> look at the boss. Mines. Look at the mines on Method. Yeah, they've, they've got the okay. Yeah, they've got the um, they got the mines there. So that that is exactly what they're going to do is they're going to kill those mines later. Zalia is collecting mines, and he will be. They will at the end of the dungeon. He'll bring them into Mogul Razdunk and kill them. That is so genius from Method of You. He's just grabbing all the mines. That's yeah. hilarious, actually. That's what I like to see. He, this is the part of the kite that they have to be careful of, because this is the hardest U-turn, and they're pretty close to the we've actual seen... boss fight. This yeah. is where it went wrong for them before. So we've seen the boss reset here, because Zalia got just very minorly too close, and then the boss fixates him with the charge down, and then it's like... Yeets himself out of the out of the arena and resets immediately. Yeah, Mogul Razdunk forty had a death. Yes, on... the perplex the death on their skip. They're they're still so they their win condition hasn't changed here. They need this to be a wipe from Method EU's side. If it's not a wipe from Method EU, then Perplex is going to lose. Uh, but if Mer Method EU does wipe, Perplex gets another shot here at this last boss with these obelisks. How many mods is that? That is a, a large number. He pops his dampen right there. Do yeah. you expect to get melee? Uh, also, going through the water there takes oh, some the, damage. The water is real bad. Yeah. Yeah, the, okay, the first so time we saw him cocoon going in there. Oh, and he's going to teleport back over. Good to spell right. on himself. Good Proxies. job, yeah. Prox another mine, and <laughs> there. I wonder if he's going to. I wonder if he's just going to kill them himself, or what, I wonder if uh, he'll he enlist himself. the aids of the hunters. Just into them. I think that's what he made. Just do. yeets on in there. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so there it is. Boss dead. Method Wait, U does have to get bots. that count. Yeah, weigh the crane, spinning crane kick. He Need to get those mines. Too? Yeah, I wonder if he can just run no, into no, no. them. He has to tag them to get count. No, no, no. He has to, he has to tag them. All right, right, and there come the multi shots. There's the 100%. Dude. Method of you taking Ooh. the first game in this series. Wow. All right, that is some kiting 
with extra response. I don't even know that they, they would give extra responsibilities, but they absolutely <laughs> did. 